Hey, in the last couple of days we saw a few small posts showing new stuff here and there. The content shown was not really enough to make a video about each single thing as there was just not enough to say about it and I honestly just couldn't get myself to make a 10 minute video about a single screenshot or so as that just feels a little clickbaity to me. <laughs> Sorry for that. Now all jokes aside, today I want to quickly talk with you about uh, what you can see in the new screenshots and the short clips that got posted on the Minecraft Dungeons Twitter account and I'll also leave you the links to those in the description. The first screenshot that was posted shows us how the rework of the camp will look like. We can at least see a total of 4 different merchants in the camp. From the last video we already know what they will be like, so I won't go over them in detail now here again. What we can see here is a new armor that um, seems to summon bees as pets and a new sword that looks like an emerald rapier to me. Also the other player seems to have a wooden stick in his hand and the armor reminds me of a thief's armor but it does look a little bit different. As that's all there is to it, let's move on to the next one. Now we can see here a bunch of icy creepers in a shot that looks more like a rendered scene than actual in-game footage. You can tell that by the creepers coming out of the interactable doorway that you as a player use to move to a different map location or something. So I won't overvalue the placement of the creepers on the stairs on the right side. But what is more interesting in that shot is that we can see the common variant of the bee armor. That seems to only summon two bees. We also see the new sword and the armor from the last screenshot again in the front. The guy on the back has a new spear and a new armor. Now that could potentially mean that some old items might get more new unique variants but until now there is no confirmed information of that. Also I want to quickly mention here that they seem to have learned from the Creeping Winter and Jungle Awakens leaks and have yet not added any unreleased content to the game so far. At least to my knowledge that is. Now as that's all there is to this shot again, let's move on to the short in-game clips they have shared with us. In the first clip they shared the new sliding mechanic with us. I'm really interested to see how this will affect the way you play these maps as the interactions with slow and or stun effects could be very interesting. But I also think that maps including this feature will be terrible for speed farming. On the next clip they released they showcased artifacts by using three wonderful wheat. Now that's nothing new or exciting, but we get to see at least a few seconds of new terrain here. But on the next clip we get to see a lot more. We witness a combat event or something like that and we can see the player using the B armor as well as the common variant of that new sword we saw in the first two screenshots. Now if you look closer you can see that it has a stabbing attack animation like the soul knives, just a lot faster. So my rapier theory might be correct. Then again if we pay attention to the beehive that is there you can see that actually that is what spawns the bees and not the armor. If the beehive is kind of related to the armor we don't know yet, but at least that shines a new light on this armor. So what is the actually important information that we can get out of this now? Well, we know for sure that we will have at least 4 merchants and 2 more new items which are not tied to the Creeping Winter DLC. As bees and winter don't go well with each other thematically, my guess is that we can prepare for a new secret map, just like Lord Temple, where we can find the new stuff. And we can also prepare to probably replay some old maps to unlock the new merchants. Now if you want to know more about the Creeping Winter DLC, make sure to check out the other two videos I made on it and I hope you liked this not 30 minute video about everything important from the past couple of days. There was literally nothing more I could squeeze out of this so that's already everything for today. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time, bye bye.